You got it tuned to Warp Up KEXP 90.3 FM live on the web at kxp.org. I'm Derek Mazzoni, your DJ and host, and we've got Gogo Bordello in the studio. Yeah. How's it going? <laughs> it's all right. Thanks What's for being on? here. It's cool. Thank you, man. So we're celebrating the anniversary of Gypsy Punk's under, Underdog World Strike, yes? Uh-huh. Okay. So let's hear a song and then we'll ask you some questions. Okay. This one is actually one of the songs that was never became like part of our performing set list. Somehow it just didn't catch on then. But it got on now on a 10-year anniversary. All right. Yeah. Song is written about a blackout in New York City and kind of going through that blackout as a community and still having quite a blast. Sometimes when facing common trouble, when whole town is screwed, we become actually human, act like Prometheus would. Suddenly there is more humor and a party tower style. Girls are dancing with a flashlight, I got only one guitar. And you think, all right now, people, they have finally woke up. But as soon as trouble over, watch them take another nap. Ain't nobody's making merry, only trotting scared of boss. Everybody's making hurry for some all forgotten cause. Whoa, yeah, oh no! It doesn't have to be so. It is possible anytime, anywhere, even without any dough. Oh, yeah, oh no! It doesn't have to be so. The forces of the creative mind are stop up 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 Then you think, all right, our people, they have finally woke up. But as soon as trouble over, you watch them take another nap. Ain't nobody's making merry, only throwing scared of us. Everybody's making hurry for some all forgotten cause. But one thing surely eternal, it's condition of a man who don't know where he is going, who don't know where does he stand, who's dream life in opposition, where the life he lives a day, who's beaten down in believing, it just kinda goes this way. Who's beaten down in believing? Who that a Saturday? Who's beaten down in believing? Who just kinda goes this way? Oh yeah, oh no! It doesn't have to be so. It is possible anytime, anywhere, even without any dough. Oh yeah, oh no! It doesn't have to be so. The forces of the creative mind are so ba 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 ba. So it is possible anytime, anywhere, even without any dough. Oh yeah, oh no! It doesn't have to be so. The forces of the creative mind. Hasta pa 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 pa. Gogo Bordello, live in the studios of KXP. That was a great song. Yeah, thanks, man. How come it never made it to the repertoire? I don't know. It was a uh, kind of. I wasn't such a good rapper back then. I was more of a. Uh, Operatic type of a guy back then. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, okay. So why, uh, why the, why this record? Why now? Um, well, I don't know. We really weren't uh, planning on doing it, but um, we just watched like several generations of our uh, fans kind of pass in the front of our eyes, mm-hmm. and um, and I was like, well, let's bring these two camps together. You know, I mean, when you go on doing whatever you're doing for, uh, you know, pretty, some massive span of time. You had like, different camps of people who discover you in different periods. And I think we just kind of mix up the crowd, you know, a little bit. And, and it's also a very different experience because you come out um, to play really um, material that people had 10 years to internalize, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. This is true, but so it's so it's working. You're seeing different generations come together. You're seeing yeah. your old fans. It's hard to picture you guys as that because you're kind of like you know. I don't think of you as like you kind of you're here. You're you're here. It's I not know. like you've been around. We for don't a while. think that either. But you know, the offers came and we thought about it and we took them. Okay. Yeah. We're glad you did. And you did. Uh, you're doing two nights uh, in Seattle at the Showbox, which is a beautiful room. Yeah, I like and it. And sold out both of them. So, yeah. success. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, Eugene, will you introduce the band, please? On the left, without any further hesitation, we have Sergei Rapsov from okay. Nizhny Novgorod. It's uh, the heart of Russia kind of territory. Sergei 
double graduate in the arts of theater and music from Moscow Academy of Theater. He can, he can, he can do magic. Can he? Okay. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> in the underground scene of us, he is more known under the name Sensei. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Honored. Uh, Pedro Razo from Ecuador, Quito, originally. Oh, yeah. Now representing the Bushwick neighborhood of Brooklyn. Uh, basically, just another hipster. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Except he was there before it was a hipster. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah. Big difference. Yes. Uh, yeah. the, uh, the, found, the foundings of, uh, of the hipster community in Bushwick. <laughs> yeah, the yes. founding father. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the founding father of it. Congratulations. You have many children now. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, indeed. It doesn't get any more hipster than, than Bushwick, actually. You get <laughs> literally like, what's more hipster than a vintage clothing store in a, inside of the vintage bus, you know, that just cruises around from neighborhood. To neighborhood. I blink and Bushwick changes. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, right here is Pavel Nemerzhetsky uh, from Minsk, Belarus, mm -hmm. Bela Belarusia, Belarusia. Uh, accordion, uh, currently living on a top floor on 42nd Street in New York City. Yeah, okay. Era, was it 43rd Street? <laughs> Second. <laughs> Second, yeah. Big difference. <laughs> Big difference. <laughs> Le yeah, yes. Enjoying his... <laughs> Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoying his residence in New York City and, you know, splashing his joy all over the place. So the, uh, the band's back in New York. Yeah, well, we never really left New York. Um, there was just a period of time where it was kind of like, you know, tour is over and... Pedro would go to Ecuador and Sergey would go back to Russia and would go to Brazil and, mm -hmm. and regroup by the tour time. But uh, it's just, you know, different biography, different part of the biography of the band, different situation. Time to throw stones around, mm -hmm. time to gather them. Okay. Like the Lord had it <laughs> in the book, you know. I know that and book. we want to follow the book, obviously. And then, hence, it all makes sense now. Yeah. It's uh, 2005 and 2016. We'd love to hear some more music, please. Go, go, Bordello. Uh, let's do it up, man. Uh, here's a number from uh, Gypsy Punk's record, uh, Immigrant Punk. That kind of was unifying chant for uh, the Bulgarian Mehanata bar mm. crowd. Yeah. And it uh, grew to be a song eventually. <laughs> Immigrant, immigrant, immigrant punk. Immigrant, immigrant, immigrant punk. Immigrant, immigrant, immigrant punk. Yeah. Immigrant, immigrant, immigrant punk. Immigrant, immigrant, immigrant punk. Immigrant, immigrant, immigrant punk. Upon arriving to the melting pot, I get penciled in as a goddamn white. Now that I am categorized, officer gets me naturalized. Immigrant punk, immigrant, immigrant, immigrant punk, immigrant, immigrant, immigrant punk. Now that I'm living up in God knows where, sometimes it gets hard without a friend. Now I am looking around. Hopefully, I see another immigrant punk. That is a little punk from mafia. Everywhere you go, she's good to me. I'm good to her. Ah, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Sound you can stand without getting big old gone without paying. I love you, but I'm relaxed. I'm just looking around. Hopefully, I see another immigrant punk that has a little punk from mafia everywhere you go. She's good to me, I'm good to her. Ah, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa.
Cause we're immigrants, when I say all night long You don't you know the singing solves the troubled soul So I'm relaxed, I'm just lurking around I got a method and you don't You got a dictionary kicking around Look up a immigrant, immigrant, immigrant punk Yeah, immigrant, immigrant, immigrant punk Immigrant, punk. immigrant, punk. immigrant, punk. immigrant punk. Immigrant, immigrant, immigrant punk, a punk. Coco Bordello, live in the studios of KXP. Oh, yeah. Eugene. And uh, Sergey and Pedro and Pasha. Love the name Pasha. So let's let's talk a little bit about. Um, it's been ten years, and it was a different world when you started doing this than it is right now. And you've been traveling throughout, you know, different parts of the world. And you guys, as we were just discussing, you guys are kind of like out of time. It doesn't, you know, you're not aging per se. It's still you guys, Gogo Bordello. It's it's awesome, but yet the world is changing, and the concept of immigrant and. It seems to be happening all over the place. Not to get into politics per se, but it is changing. You know, when you guys started, uh, you know, George W. Bush was in office. There was a lot of stuff going on. And then Obama came in, you know, Putin came in. Everything kind of changed. Did uh, it? From your experience? What's, talk about that a little bit if you can. Well, yes. I mean, you, you said it. It's changing r rapider than ever. And uh, the thing, the key, I think, is not to keep up with any change because it's so... Uh, uh, all this chain, it's like it's like it's all trends, really. Mm -hmm. There's nothing to catch up with, <laughs> you know. So the more more out of a uh, more out of sync with all that you are, the um, less aging you're gonna be. <laughs> this is true. This is true. But your music is is uh, just as vibrant and speaks to oh, so many um, of these conditions. So I just I always ask this question of, of bands that have been around for a while, like what keeps you going. Well, uh, I think that a lot of people have different mechanisms, but um, in people that you observe like uh, dedication and longevity, there is what happens, I think, in, in arts, not only in rock and roll, but especially in a dancer world. You know, people are burned out there very much faster, one trauma and then all dreams just shatter, you know, mm -hmm. person can't dance and, you know and depressed forever. Uh, rock and roll is almost like a milder version of that. So what happens, you kind of sprint into the, um, sprinting into collapse, you know? So you experience the collapse that usually people experience by the time they're 55, you experience that by the time you're 35, 36. Mm -hmm. And then either you stay, um, Collapsed. Either you make out of make it out of it, but then the advantage of it, you discover tools. Uh, in my case, it's more like a martial arts and the kind of route that Lou Reed took. You know, for an example, uh, you know, not many people know, but you studying Tai Chi now. Lou, Lou, yes, I've been doing that for five, six years now. Okay, but you know, that was a huge part of Lou Reed's life, and uh, for over thirty years, he was a very dedicated martial artist um so that has been becoming a huge part of my personal backbone and and, and inspiration you know so you just can't party all the time you're finding a different uh a different i path. want to party all the time <laughs> party all that kind of thing well that's what i meant by party it's kind of amalgamation of development on all fronts mm -hmm. Not only on Jack Daniels' front. This is true. <laughs> this is true, and it's it's wonderful wisdom, and, and it makes perfect sense because you guys, um, you've never really succumbed. We had a band in earlier, Awa from uh, Tel Aviv, and they're great. They're poppy, but they've got this whole Yemenite roots that they're still pre uh, presenting. But you could just kind of sense it's like somebody's going to go in, like it's time to turn you into something a little more palatable. Palatable to the masses. Yes, uh, I love that term. Yeah. But I'm not sensing, like, you guys never, it's like, di you never, you were never interested in being digestible. Well, it's like, uh, I mean, what, are the, what is the use of any of that, really? I mean, if you're out of your 
this creative vortex. I mean, what is what is going to be the? That's your only real source of uh, luminescence and, and light and, and, and joy. Everything else is going to be endarkment to you mm-hmm. if that is not your. If you're out of your own territory, I mean, no. I think it's good to be in your own vortex and don't venture out of that. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, yeah thank you. We'd love to hear some more music. Gogo Bordello. Yeah, what do we got? Uh, is it ballot time or no? Oh, yeah, no. No, purple. No, it's purple time. Okay, yes, yeah, Star Wearing Purple appeared to be from this record, the 10 year anniversary. So we will do it. <laughs> Studios of KXP. I love that song. Thank you, man. You're touring through June. Yeah. Is this true? I think so. I haven't looked at the website. Where are you going? As I said, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but we're on our way. Who tells you where to go? 
<laughs> well, it's, you know, you contemplate and discuss the tour like six months in advance and then you forget about it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, wow, <laughs> cool, we're going somewhere here. <laughs> so I don't usually ask this question of artists, but you write about everything and all sorts of... So what's the process? Like, when do you, like, this is like songwriter. It's like, is it the morning or you're like, what... You step on something and you're like, oh, I need to write a song about this. Like, what is this? What, what compels one to write a song about uh, start wearing purple? Yeah, I step on something. Like, uh, some agricultural tool. Ouch. And then it, like, pummels me in the forehead. Nagarabli <laughs> <laughs> uh, And then it all kind of comes to me. Like an email, I just open it up. And <laughs> no, it, it's like, when is it not the progress? You know? It's... Life, it's not like creative life and, and, and romantic life and, and professional life is some separate beings. It's all life. Mm -hmm. So the process never stops. How can it? It's true, but you're, um, uh, some people just might be listening for the first time. What's the history of Gogo Bordello? How'd you guys form? I know there was, you know, Bulgarian bar, and, but where did it all begin? Um, well, really, it's actually as far back as 1997. And um, I had a band beforehand in Vermont, which was my original home base in the United States. And the band called The Fags. And uh, it was kind of, by the, by the last album of that band, it was kind of prototype of, uh, of, of music that Gogol Bordello started with. Mm -hmm. Basically, I came to New York City with a batch of songs, like a dozen of songs that were encapsulating my kind of uh, immigrant experience, which is all I had at that point. Uh, and I just wanted to turn it into some kind of a Dadaist event, you know, like, okay, you know, <laughs> I don't want to grieve about it anymore. I just want to uh, transmute it into something that's uh, into some spectacle that I can distance myself and kind of have some laughs about. That would be like a first therapeutical thing to do. And New York is a great uh, place for that because actually Dadaist movement was very active in New York City in, in uh, 1915 and, and 16. It's uh, 100 years since the Dada movement. There we go. Thank you very much, everybody. Yes. Yeah, no idea. I'm surprised people are not walking around shouting this every day. Yeah, hey, it's 100 years since Dada. But would that be Dada? Huh? Would that be Dada? Though? That would be very Dada. Okay. I think so. I'm not so sure. They didn't, they didn't scream so much. I mean, they scream, but just randomly. Yes, but I'm talking about random screaming. <laughs> In New York, okay. <laughs> and, then, and then, so when Gogo became popular and suddenly this became like, okay, you're going to do this. This is the thing instead of something else. What was the other thing that you were going to do? There was never any other kind of thing. Um, plus, we, there was never... And nothing was sudden in the case with, with, with this band. Everything was literally going like this since the beginning and up until this point, it's been uh, steady. Uh, I don't know what the exact calculated number mm -hmm. of that progression, but there was no morning where we woke up and we're like, wow, we're popular. <laughs> you know, it was just, it's just, it's accumulative and accumulative and accumulative and accumulative. And, and that's good because, you know, uh, as they say, the slow burn is the best burn. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, maybe back then I would, wouldn't have no, wouldn't have the, really the tools to handle any kind of a uh, sudden smack of popularity, you know. But now you do. Now it's like, okay, you know, uh, we're here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. It's perfect. Yeah, thanks, man. We'd love to hear some more music. Yeah, is it ballot time now? Uh, yeah, definitely. So let's not do it. <laughs> okay. It will start like a ballot. This will not be from uh, Gypsy Punk's record. This will be from Transcontinental Hustle record. Where are you now? My compañera, your baby claw stuck in my chest. Where are you now, my sonidera? 
Portello on what pop on KXP um new record coming something? yeah it's brewing up it's in the cooker okay beautiful yeah playing um on tour till the end of June and we don't know where that's going to be taking no on. it's it's in the states it's in the states it's you know it's east coast west coast it's on the internet so you can find it yes yes it's definitely there i mean of course of course I mean, these days, and you can find anything out in one second. This is true. This is true. And your smartphone and your dumb phone, it's all there. Yeah, exactly. I'm still using the dumb phone. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> you got it into Wopop KXP 90.3. I want to thank Justin, Jim, and Scott, the amazing Kevin Suggs, Claire, McGrain, Al Gulduren. I'm Derek Mazzoni, and this is Wopop KXP. And also Renato Steiner taking photos. KXP 90.3, where the music matters. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, man. Discover new music at listener-powered kexp.org.